20 minutes till kickoff. Team News obviously is in. Players are out warming up behind us. Glenn has just come over to join me. Um, what's making a team? I know. Uh, mate, I, I, I really don't know what to say at the moment. Um, we look at the team every week. We then get our hopes built up with a good result. And, we, and it's a difficult thing. Someone at work said to me, you are Forrest Gump FC because you never know what you're going to get, which is pretty much true. Um, we're back to lacklustre performances. The lack of goals is my concern. Uh, it has been a concern for a while. And to be fair, it doesn't matter what team we've seen to put out, we cannot score goals for love and money. Saturday, I, I did mention on social media, Tuesday night at Brentford, we scored a great goal from an early cross. None of that on Saturday at all. I, I, I really don't know what's going on. It was obvious that was what, that's what man got. He fed off that, looked at the goal, went into the space. Brilliant header, brilliant cross. Every time the ball went wide on Saturday, Diddy dallied around with the ball, lost the ball constantly. Uh, we're just too slow. Whether it's lack of confidence in the playing staff, I don't know. But surely nothing more confidence building than being present. So tonight we try a different combination up top. It uh, looks like Lewis Walker through the middle and he's flanked by Jordan Green and Scott Cashkin tonight. So fingers crossed that someone can at least put one in the back of the net. But um, what do you think in terms of the game? Well, it'd be good to see Walker with someone actually up alongside me, but he played a very lonely fellow against Brentford. And he didn't play too badly for me. I thought he had a very reasonable game at Brentford. Let's see what he does tonight. Give him a chance. Um, He's done a right in the Cups as well, to be fair. Yeah, All of his goals in the Cups. I mean, we've got to be wary tonight because we went up to Fylde and they were a decent side. To be Although we let them on to us a little bit, they did look a bit creative. They created more than we did. We need to be a bit wary tonight. Score prediction? I think we are going to scrape through 1-0. I think we'll just take that any which yep. way tonight, won't we? Uh, try and enjoy the game. Oh, well, mate. Thanks. Yeah. Two minutes on the clock and it's an early chance for five and it all comes from Shah Alexander not dealing with a simple cross. He, he goes to clear it at the back post, goes with the wrong foot and ends up scuffing it. Um, Sean Williams then pinches it off the centre forward but tries to do too much, ends up bringing the fella down and they've got a free kick. 25 yards out, central. Penalty to Jules and it comes out of absolute nothing. I think it's Jordan Green who pinches it and the ball breaks to Scott Cash in the box. Looks like he's got to get a shot away and he's been bundled down from behind. Referee took his time but eventually pointed to the spot. It's going to be Scott Cash the target would you believe it just when this season in front of goal cannot get any worse we've missed from 12 yards another chance for the Jills Lewis Walker this time ball in from the right hand side he's headed it against the crossbar but it wouldn't have counted flag up on the far side but Jills on top at the moment third chance in a matter of minutes and this time it's Dom Jeffries ball into the box is cleared Maximo looks like he's having his shirt pulled. Breaks to Dom Jeffries, he's in the box, got him in the target, scuffs it wide, creating chances, still not taking them. Half chance for the away side, it's a long ball over the top. Elkham back, it's back tracking, doesn't really get a call from his keeper, Jake Turner. Tries to win, it goes up in the air. I think it's Legenza's the lad's name. Snapshot from the edge of the box, drifts harmlessly wide, but just a warning that Fylde are still in this game, even though we have had the better chances. Chances keep coming for the Jules. This is Lewis Walker again, it's really good from Sean Williams. Plays a little ball in behind. Lewis Walker has a couple of touches, drills it straight to Keita, who beats it away. And then uh, Robbie McKenzie cuts inside under his right foot and blazes one into the Brian Moore stand. But still, chances coming, still, chances not being converted. Is it? Lewis Walker's in on goal! I feel to the Jules! Ball through the middle, Lewis Walker found himself in acres of space, slots it beyond the keeper, and we leave. Half time here at the Priestfield Stadium. It's currently Gillingham 1, AFC file nil in this FA Cup replay. I think it's a lead that Gillingham deserve based on territory and chances created. We certainly do deserve to have our noses in front. It should be more. Um, it's a poor penalty miss from Scott Caskett. But unfortunately, that happens when you're a team that's struggling in front of goal. Bare minimum is you have to hit the target. Uh, looked a penalty from, from where we're sat at the opposite end of the pitch. Um, Lewis Walker headed against the bar, um, albeit with the flag going up already, so it wouldn't have counted. Um, Cash get another shot charged down at the end of half. Dom Jeffries has dragged one wide. Um, and the goal came out of nothing, really. We managed to pinch the ball and turn over possession midway through their half. And suddenly, Lewis Walker had the, the freedom of the 18-yard box and he kept his composure. And it wasn't the finish of a player, or certainly a team that's not scoring goals, slotted it 
nonchalantly under the keeper to give us that deserving lead. Um, just looking at substitutes warming up. Doesn't look like it's going to be changes at half time for us, but it's a case of being professional now. Kyle had that early free kick and then one other snapshot wide, but apart from that, we've been fairly solid. But like I say, we do deserve our lead, just need to stay professional in the second period. First yellow card of the game has gone to Elkham Baggett. Got caught on the wrong side, dragged his man down. It's going to be a free kick to foul. Dangerous position, wide on their right hand side. Probably sort of level with the corner of the uh, 18 yard box. We'll just stay with this a minute. Referee's whistle goes here. It comes a flat one. It's not beating the front man. Jill's got it clear. Scott Cash gets hacked it up into the night sky. Jordan Green's trying to put the defender under pressure. It's just about done enough to get it back to his keeper. Ah, it's cleared into the medway stand. Still 1 0 corner now for the visitors, it was Horton who uh, initially forced the save from Jack Turner, it was a good save, he had to flick it over the bar, good drive from 25 yards, defended the corner well, like I said, did it clear a second time, Jill's got a free kick, Sean Williams has been bundled over in the box, it's 15 minutes gone, second period, and Fylde have had the better of it to be fair, they've had much of the ball, uh, more of the territory, game's been played no half, but it's just been half chance for Scott Caskett, chopped onto his right foot inside the six yard box, keeper stood big and hit him in the chest, calls for a penalty after that nothing doing I think there's a couple of changes in we've already made one by the way missed that originally that was Will Wright on for Max Aymer at the break we still lead um, but we need to get on the ball again and replacing 14 for McKenzie is number 12 Haji Ndoba Game's just drifting a little bit, which is suiting us because we're the side in front, so it's up the far to go and get on the front foot and try and create something, isn't it? Um, there's been another change for the visitors. Uh, Lewis Walker has been really good again tonight. His old up plays, link plays has been decent. He's just managed to get himself to the ball and cut it back for Ben Rees, but he couldn't hit the target from a, an angle that was against him. Still 1 0, about 20 to play. Is number seven, Alex McDonald. Clock's just ticked over 90. Another free kick for five. Paddy Manoba judged to have bought his man down wide on the left for the visitors. Here it comes. Where's that gone? There's a flag up far side. Something to do with this tonight is our block box and block pictures of man of the match, John Jeffries. We're replaced by number 17, Brian Moore. 